All right, now that we are at Lightroom, uh, we're going to add our final adjustments and make um, the car pops even more. All right, so let's get started. I'll start usually with the uh, graduated filter. So I'll click on the graduated filter and uh, I'll reset. You can reset by holding the Alt and then click on the reset. Set the exposure around for this image, I think it was about 2.4, and um, just drag upwards like so. I'm going to move this lighter a bit on the shadows, just a tad, maybe a bit of the highlights as well. Right about there, I'm going to desaturate. Add a little bit of clarity and sharpness. And that looks good. Now I'm going to get a brush. Let's adjust this to say about there. And I'm going to just brush around the car just to create that vignette effect. like so. To desaturate this as well. And uh, yep. Let's add some clarity, sort of uh, contrast. Okay, around there is good. I'll desaturate just a little about there and I'm going to selectively add saturation using the HSL filter or tap. So for the red, because we have red elements, I'm going to increase this. I'll do the same with the orange because it affects the red. Not sure about the yellow. I'll keep it as it is. The green, I'll remove the greens, blues, purple, and magenta as well. For luminance, it's not all about creative taste, really. So your adjustments might vary. Right about there. Going to introduce a bit of blues in the shadow. Say around maybe that much. Let's see the before and after. Yeah, that would do. I'll add a bit of sharpening. it out. Let's add a bit of vignetting. Recover the highlights. Good. One last step. Going to reset this. And I'm going to add a bit of clarity and I'll selectively add it to some elements like the rims. Turn it roughly. Side mirror. Put up the curves. Backlight, bit at the door, and the back. There we go, and um, yeah, it should be uh, done. I think I would increase a bit of the highlights just a tad.
and the lights. And there you go. We're done editing this photo. So let's have a look at the before. This is the before. And uh, this is the after. Excellent. Well, I hope uh, this was another helpful and useful tutorial for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my Instagram account and my YouTube channel for further tutorials. Thank you for watching.